Hello, Kim. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me well? Yes. Very good. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. So, how are you today, Kim? I'm fine. Yes. So, today, Kim, we are still going to have two minute, I two lessons equivalent to 50 minutes, one regular and one makeup class in advance. Okay, so yesterday we ended up with our practice test for listening. So here it is. Can you see the screen clearly? Mm, yes. Great. So here, Kim, we will continue with part three in listening practice test. So what did Paul do last weekend? I want you to listen and draw a line. The day to the correct picture, there is one example here. So please listen carefully. Then you are allowed to listen twice. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Paul do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Paul. Did you enjoy your holiday last week? Yes. Shall I tell you about it? Yes, please. Which was the best day? Um, Monday. Dad took me to the cinema. We saw a film about sharks. Good. We can talk about that in class. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Paul went to the cinema. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Thursday was a good day. What did you do then? My sister and I took our bikes to the forest. Oh! It was a very hot day on Thursday. Yes. We bought ice creams and sat under the trees. Two. What about Friday? It rained then. Yes, I didn't go out, but Mum made a great lunch. What was it? Fish and chips. That's my favourite. Three. On Saturday, I played at home. Who with? My sister. She's got a new computer game and I wanted to play it. What's the name of the game? Hungry Sharks. It's very exciting. Four. Sam came to our house on Wednesday. Who's Sam? He's my cousin. We went fishing in the river. Did you go on your bikes? No. Mum took us in the car. Five. What did you do on Sunday? I slept all morning. Did you go out in the afternoon? No, I looked at maps. Why? To find new places to go to on my bike. Oh, good idea. Now listen to part three again. One. Okay, please double check your answer, Kim. Thursday was a good day. Yes. What did you do then? My sister and I took our bikes to the forest. Oh, it was a very hot day on Thursday. Yes, we bought ice creams and sat under the trees. Two. What about Friday? It rained then. Yes, I didn't go out, but Mum made a great lunch. What was it? Fish and chips. That's my favourite. Three. On Saturday, I played at home. Who with? My sister. She's got a new computer game and I wanted to play it. What's the name of the game? Hungry Sharks. 
It's very exciting. 4. Sam came to our house on Wednesday. Who's Sam? He's my cousin. We went fishing in the river. Did you go on your bikes? No. Mum took us in the car. 5. What did you do on Sunday? I slept all morning. Did you go out in the afternoon? No, I looked at maps. Why? To find new places to go to on my bike. Oh, good idea. That is the end okay, of part three. Let's check your answer we have here. Very good. Okay, great. Monday, great job. Nice. And Friday. Very good, Kim, because you got a perfect score here of 5 out of 5. Okay, so now let's proceed with part 4. I want you to listen and take the box. There is one example here. Part 4. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Fred do at school today? Hello, Fred. What did you do at school today? Hmm. Well, we had an English lesson. What did you learn? We all wrote stories. Oh, that was good. Well, it was OK. I wanted to do sport or drawing. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What's Sue doing? Quick, Sue! What's the matter, Dad? I have to go to work and you have to go to school. Have you got your shoes on? No, I'm cleaning them. They got dirty in the rain yesterday. Can you go to school on the bus then? I have to go now. OK. 2. What's for supper? What's for supper, Dad? Oh, I don't know. Um, what about tomato soup and bread? No, I'm very hungry. Well, is pasta with cheese OK? Yes, please. And is there any fruit or ice cream? There's no ice cream, but you can have an orange or a banana. 3. Which toothbrush is Ben's? Mum, where's my toothbrush? Oh, I bought some new ones today. Here they are. Can I have this red one? No, Ben, that's Dad's. And the blue one is mine. OK. Mine's the purple one, then. OK, so do you want to listen again, Kim, or no? No. OK, so let's check. What's Sue doing? Letter B. What's for supper? Letter B. Great job. Which, douche, which toothbrush is Ben's? Letter C. Very good. So let's proceed with numbers four to five. Please listen carefully. Here it is. Four. What did John buy at the shops? What did you buy at the shops today, John? Well, I wanted to buy a sweater or a jacket for the cold weather. And did you get one? No, but I bought this new CD. <laughs> Great! <laughs> but you can't wear that in cold weather. Yeah. Five. Which film did Kim see on Tuesday? Hello, Kim. Would you like to go to the cinema tonight? What film can we see? There's The River Pirates. Oh, I saw that on Tuesday. It wasn't very good. Well, there's Jane in the Jungle. No, I don't like that kind of film. What about My Island Home? That's a good film. My brother saw it last week.
Okay, so number four, what did John buy at the shops? Letter A, very good. Which film did Kim see on Tuesday? That is letter B, wow, your name is here. So for this one, Kim, you got four out of five. That is still a great score. So for this one, I want you to listen and color and write. So you will get five points if all your answers are correct. So there is one example here, this one, the fish. So please listen carefully and color then write. Part five, look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Would you like to colour this picture? Yes, please. OK. What would you like to do first? Can I colour one of the fish in the lake? This one. Here, the biggest one. Yes, all right. Colour the biggest fish in the lake. Right. I'm colouring it orange. Can you see the orange fish? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. Now find the waterfall in the picture. Which one? There are three. The waterfall which is next to the lake. Next to the lake. Right. I can see it. Good. Now colour it green. Two. What now? Well, there are some mountains in the picture. Yes, they've all got snow on their tops. That's right. Now, look at the one there. The sun is going behind it. The sun is going behind it. This one? That's right. Now, can you colour that mountain purple? Yes, that's good. Three. Now find the village. OK. Here it is by the lake. There's one house which isn't in the village. It's above it, in the forest. OK. Can I colour the house in the forest now? Yes. What colour would you like? Red, please. I love that colour. Great. Four. What can I do now? Find the boy who's fishing. Yes, I can see him. He's sitting on a rock by the lake and he's wearing a big hat. That's right. Well, colour his hat yellow. OK. Five. Would you like to draw something now? Yes, please. But what? Well, you see the round box next to the boy who's fishing? Yes. Draw a square box next to the round one. OK. I'm drawing it. Are there sandwiches inside that box? There were, but the boys were hungry and they ate them all. Wait a minute. Now listen to part five again. Wait, I will let you listen to number five. Well, you see the round box next to the boy who's fishing? Yes. Draw a square box next to the round one. OK, I'm drawing it. 
Are there sandwiches inside that box? There were, but the boys were hungry and they ate them all. Okay, so thank you for your answer, Kim. So in this one, this is square. When you say square, this is... That is the square. end of the movers' practice listening test okay. three. So that is okay for this one. For this one, you got four out of five. Okay, so before we end in practice test for listening, do you have any question, Kim? No. Okay, so let's proceed with our reading and writing. This is still a practice test. So I will encourage you to read carefully and choose the answer, choose the correct answer. Okay, so this is part one. You will get six points if all your answers are correct. You choose the correct words and tell me about it. So there is one example. People go to this place to drink, eat, and talk to their friends. So it is a cafe. How about numbers one to six, Kim? Can you please read and tell me your answer? Mm, yes. Uh, you wash your baby and your hair in this. Uh, it's shower. Very good. How about number three? You sit eat in a field or on a beach or for this. It is um, a picnic. Very good. How about you can buy food and clothes here. It's a market. You go up uh, or down between floors in this. It is a lift. Very good. Apple, bananas, lemon, and orange are examples of this. It is fruit. You can read books here or take them home to read. It's a library. Great job, game. So that is a perfect score of six out of six. A very good start with our reading and writing. So this is part two. I want you to look at the picture and you read the sentences. Then you say yes if the sentence is correct and no if it is not correct. So example, a pirate is sitting on a box. Is that yes or no? That is yes, because the pirate is sitting on a box in the picture. So next example, there are six hippos in the picture. That is no, because there are only five hippos. So do you now, do you have an idea now how to answer part two? Mm. Yes. Okay, so let's proceed with part two. Oh, we, okay, with, with part two, I want you to read numbers one to six and you tell me if it's yes or no. Mm, it's Girls. Rose are uh, playing a game of badminton. It is... Mm, no... How about number two? There is a green and yellow parrot on the boy's shoulder. It is no. Very good. Three. A big brown monkey is climbing a mountain. It is no. Okay, great job. Number four. A woman with a red shirt has got a bowl of pineapples. Yes. Okay. There's a big snake in the tree above the crocodile. It is um no. Yes, that's no. How about number six? A man and a woman are 
crossing the river in a boat is is yes very good so another perfect score which is 12 out of 12 okay so let's proceed <laughs> with part three kim so this is um a story i know a dialogue i want you to read and choose the best answer so i will read nick and you will answer jane okay hello jane mm, hello jane uh hello nick very good where did you go at the weekend uh i went to see kim in her new house okay very good where does she live now in a village great job does she like her new home yes she does how's her brother ben Uh, he is fine. What did you do with Kim on Saturday? We swam in the sea. Very good. Great. Can I go with you to see Kim and Ben one day? Okay. Wow, you're so smart. Perfect score again, which is 18 out of 18. Okay, so I will challenge you to make it perfect until the last part of reading and writing. Okay, so here, Kim, I want you to read the story. You choose a word from the box and tell me the answers to numbers 1 to 6. There's one example. Can you please start reading Sally and her family? Uh, oh, yes. As, uh, Sally and her family live on a farm. They had a lot of animals, sheep, cows, goats, chickens, and horses. Every morning before school, Sally went to see her gray house cloud. Uh, she gave turns some... Um, so uh carrots to eat for his breakfast and talk to him. Then she said goodbye, but late Friday, she didn't close. Uh, no, we that's correct. Close the house door carefully when she went to see him. Sadie went to school in dad's, um, in dad's car. In class that morning, the teacher drew a course on the board now you draw one is that Sally starts to draw clouds then she look out of the window there was cloud look children said the teacher there's a horse in the playground you can draw it that is my house said Sally the children lost after the class, Sally Sally uh, see home on cloud. What's your answer? Sally mm. see. Sailed this one? No, is C. Sally, C home on cloud. Is that your final answer, Kim? 
Okay, so you have three choices. Sea, road, and sailed. It's you sailed. 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 So Sally sailed home on cloud. Final yes. answer? Are you sure? Oh, no, no. It's C. C. C? C. Is that your final answer? One more time. Is that your final answer? Mm. Yeah, because I don't want you to make a mistake here. Yes, yes, it's yes. So Sally C home on cloud. Yes. Oh, that is road home on cloud. That's okay. It's only one mistake. Okay, so I hope here, Kim, that you will choose the best name for the story. So what is the title? Cloud goes to school, cloud has a lesson, or the teacher draws cloud. Clouds go, uh, clouds has a lesson. Okay, that is cloud goes to school. So for this one, you got 23 out of 25. Only two mistake. So here, Kim, this is a story again. I want you to look at the picture and... You read the story, then you tell me the words to complete the sentences about the story. Okay, can you please read on Sunday? On Sunday, uh, Jin went to the mountain with his parents. Uh, in the afternoon? Uh, in, the, in the afternoon. Uh, it snowed at home. The evening gym wasn't very well. You go got a temperature gym, his mother said. Her son suit and did go to bed, but he didn't want any soup. He was hungry. Okay, so we have two examples. Jim and his parents went to... Huh? Went to the mountains on Sunday. On yes. Sunday afternoon, it snowed. Okay, I'm sorry because this is not the answer. It is not last Sunday. That is to the mountains. So here, Kim, I want you to read numbers 1 to 2 and tell me your answer. On Sunday, Jin went to the mountains. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the same story, just number 1 and 2. Jim had a had a, a temperature on Sunday evening. Had a temperature, very good. How about number two? Mm, Jim. Mm. didn't have D didn't Any there you go, Jim didn't have any any school, any soup. Great job. Okay. How about this one? Please read Bill and Nick. Hmm. Bill and Nick took the ball with them because they want to play with it in the water. But it was diff difficult because they couldn't stand up very well. Then they tried to fly find sea animals at the bottom of the sea. Nick 
point at something near Big Shop. Bill picked it up and then they swam back to the beach. It's your teacher, Nick, Bill shouts. They look at the big rock, but their clothes weren't there. Then they saw their red toes in the water too. Very good. Thank you for reading, Kim. So I observed two mispronounced words. Can you please repeat it again? What is this? Pointed. Very good. How about this one? Shout it. Yes, because I heard point and shout only. Okay, very good. So now, Kim, I want you to read numbers three to six together with your answer. The boys. Mm, the, bo the boys tired to play with their ball in the water. Very good. How about number four? They want to find some some sea animal in the water. Great job. As to a big shell, they'll pick up the t-shirt. Okay. They there. So and there and they saw their red toes. Very good. Their red towels were in the sea too. Okay, so please listen the teacher AM. They found all their things in the sea and got dressed again. They waited for a bus, but it didn't come. In the end, they phoned their mom and she came in the car and drove them home. They were very cold and wet, but their mom gave them a hot drink and they talked and laughed about their day. So now, Kim, I want you to answer number 7 to 10. Mm, they found all their things in the sea and got dressed again. They wait for a bus, but it didn't come. In the end, they found their mom, and she came in the car and drove them home. They were very cold and wet, but their mom gave them hot drinks, and then they talked and laughed about their day. Very good. Thank you for reading that one, Kim. So what's your answer with number seven? Um, yes, the, the bus didn't come. Very good. Number eight. The boy went home. By, by car. Great job. Nine. Mm. Uh, uh, they are. Their mom gave them something. What to drink. Okay, their mom. Very good. How about number 10? When the boy were okay again, they they lost about the diet. At the big peach. Very good, Kim. Okay, so in this part five, you got a perfect score. So your score is 33 out of 35. That's only partial because there's still 
part 6. Okay, so this part 6, Kim, is very challenging because there are no choices. So here is Teacher AM's challenge. If you get a perfect score in part 6, I will consider you giving um, plus 2 points. Okay, so that means you will not have mistakes anymore. Okay, so now we have example. I want you to read the text and you choose the right words and write them on the lines. Example. Oh, no! <laughs> so example. When we first had computers, they were very big and they only added numbers. One computer was bigger. This is just one story, Kim. So they are continuation of one sentence to another. Okay, please read. When we first... They were very big and they only added number. One computer was bigger. Than a small, I don't, yes, than a small bedroom. Continue then, now. No computer can do a lot more things. Um, there are some which you can carry in a bag or pick up in one hand. And you can find computer in schools. Um, I work and in the world home. Okay, so yeah, number two, wait a minute, Kim. Time. Number two, what's your answer again? There. Okay, there. Very good. The number two is N. Okay, that's at. How about number four? You can't wait for the brother. Sister, mom, or dad stop working, playing games, or writing to a friends in a place. Okay, so what's your answer to number four? You should. Okay, this is you have to wait for your brother. Ah, okay. So it's okay, Kim, because at least you tried your best. So 33, 34, 35. Okay, that is 35 out of 40. So that is your score for our reading and writing. Since we still have 11 minutes, so we will proceed with our um, speaking. Okay, so here, Kim, I want you to find the difference. So this is picture one and picture two. So just like what I told you before, I will encourage you to answer in a correct, I not correct, complete sentences. In picture one, I can see the horse um, standing, but in picture two, the horse is sitting just like that. Okay, so please Say, Kim, what are the differences between one and two? Mm. Saba. Mm. Picture one, the bus color is red. Picture two, the bus color is blue. Picture one, the... Mm. I wait a minute, Kim. So I will just cut you. I want you to enter again in Zoom. Because this will automatically end. Oh, yes. Okay? Yeah. Yes. 